Hello to all the amazing parents and caregivers out there. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that has many of us anxious, baby food allergies. From recognizing the signs to what to do next, we're covering it all. So if you're introducing solids to your little one or just want to be informed, this video is essential viewing. First things first, what exactly is a food allergy? It's when the body's immune system wrongly sees a certain food as harmful and reacts to it. For babies, even the most common foods can sometimes trigger an allergic reaction. The usual suspects include dairy, eggs, nuts, soy, wheat, fish, and shellfish. But remember, allergies can develop to any food. So how do you recognize an allergic reaction in your baby? Look for these signs. Skin reactions. This could be hives, a red itchy rash or swelling, especially around the face. Digestive problems. Symptoms like diarrhea, stomach cramps, or vomiting shortly after consuming a particular food. Respiratory symptoms. These can include coughing, sneezing, a runny nose, or even wheezing. Severe reactions. In rare cases, babies might experience anaphylaxis, which is a severe and potentially life-threatening reaction that requires immediate medical attention. If you notice any of these signs, especially multiple symptoms at once, it's crucial to consult your pediatrician immediately. So how can we, as caregivers, be proactive? One way is by introducing one new food at a time and waiting for about three to five days before introducing another. This makes it easier to pinpoint any potential allergens. A food journal can be a lifesaver. Note down what food was introduced, when, and any reactions. This will be super helpful for both you and your pediatrician. It's also a good idea to introduce allergenic foods early and in small amounts as some studies suggest it might help reduce the risk of developing allergies. The landscape of food allergies is constantly evolving. Recent research indicates that introducing allergenic foods early on can be beneficial. However, always discuss and plan with your pediatrician, especially if there's a history of allergies in the family. In cases where an allergy is confirmed, it's crucial to educate everyone involved in the baby's care. This includes grandparents, babysitters, and daycare providers. Ensure they know what foods to avoid and what to do in case of an allergic reaction. For severe allergies, your doctor might prescribe an epinephrine auto-injector, commonly known as an EpiPen. It's essential to know how and when to use it and to always have it accessible. Navigating the world of baby food allergies can be daunting, but remember, knowledge is power. Being informed, vigilant, and proactive can make all the difference. And always, always trust your instincts as a caregiver. That wraps up our deep dive into baby food allergies. If you found this information valuable, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with fellow parents, and subscribe for more. Remember, you're not alone on this journey, and we're here to support and inform every step of the way. Until next time, take care and stay informed.